Hi guys, it's Hot Mess Mama coming to you live. It's Friday, it's the Friday after the 4th of July, so this is a little bit messier than normal. Why? Because, you know, we spent the entire day yesterday out in the sun on the beach in the pool drinking, drinking beer. And drinking wine. And eating lots of salt. That's gross. And let's just say that I am like so bloated, it's not even funny. So see the puffy? See the puff? See the puff? Like I am so bloated and I'm so gross right now. And it, it's because I had so much salt and so much beer yesterday. Um, and then you went to sleep on it and you feel gross. I feel like I need to detox. And I said to myself, you know what? I'm not gonna have any more alcohol this weekend. I can't drink anymore. I'm gonna just flush myself full of water, get this bloat out of me. But, okay, that lasted about 12 hours. So there's that. Um, but speaking of which, we had all of this leftover barbecue. Like one of my girlfriends had this party for her family. There was like two birthdays and she like made slabs and slabs and slabs of ribs. And then there's the 4th of July where everyone makes slabs and slabs and slabs of ribs. You know, amongst other barbecued treats like barbecued chicken or you know, barbecued pork or, you know, ribs or hot dogs or hamburgers or what have you. And I was like, okay, I got all this leftover stuff and I need to do something with it. So what the, this is a perfect opportunity for a tasting. Yes, I'm soaking wet. Why? Because it's pouring rain at the beach now. So I feel like I got like, I feel like I need to be wearing a bib for this wine tasting. So, um, I know this was a last minute one, but I was like, you know what? I feel like I, like I said, I need to get back in the game here and I need to like go back on the grid and put myself out there. So here we are, here I am rolling, literally rolling up my sleeves and I feel like I should put on a bib for this barbecue tasting. So what did you guys grill up for, for, for the 4th of, 4th of July? I will tell you in the interest of be, like being honest and transparent, I was anti-American and I didn't grill up anything yesterday because it was frankly too hot and I frankly didn't want to like lug my grill out because we can't grill at our, we have to pull our grills all the way out to the street to grill because of, for fire hazard reasons. We can't grill near our condos or our homes. So yeah, um, I didn't grill yesterday, but I did a little Americana. I made sloppy joes. So yeah, I was so lazy. I was like, I'm throwing some ground turkey in a pan and opening up a can of manwich. And that was dinner. That was all Americana with coleslaw. And I made cookies and there was beverage. Yes. But, you know, but I did keep my kids awake for the 4th of July fireworks. Did you guys keep your kids awake for the 4th of July fireworks? But anyways, so I went to my friend's house. who made all this lovely barbecue, barbecue ribs for this birthday party on the other day and like for the 4th of July. And I said, you have slabs of this stuff left over. I'm, can I, can I steal some of yours so I can do a tasting? So here I am doing a tasting. So what I did some research and what I found was this, that the two wines that are most recommended to be paired with barbecue are a Zinfandel Red, and a Rosé. So I got the cheapest bottles I could find that hit screw tops, and I said, yay, let's have a party. So, um, but you know, there are tons of different types of barbecue, as you know. So we've got, I'm like looking really horrid, and I'm so sorry. No makeup, bloated and gross. Um, there are many different types of barbecue. So you've got like the North Carolina barbecue, which is, if you don't know, it's not like the barbecue that, you, the traditional barbecue that you're probably accustomed to. It's a vinegar-based barbecue. So it's literally like, they kind of like, chop up their pork off their pigs and they pour this like vinegar peppery sauce over it and it's divine i love it I, it's, it's something you really have to get used to it's not something that like you got you have to grow accustomed to it i need to have a drink for this mama mama bit um and that's what you know i've grown to love here but it's not the saucy stuff that you're used to so then there's that there's like the north carolina barbecue which is vinegar based and then there's the south carolina barbecue which is kind of mustard based right and then you go a little farther south and you've got like the memphis barbecue which is more along the lines of what like people think of as barbecue especially with ribs because that's kind of got like you know the you know the barbecue saucy stuff that's like that's like a memphis style barbecue and then there's like the texan style barbecue which i believe is more like a dry rub so we are going for the like traditional all-american everybody knows this kind of barbecue which is no, also known as like tennessee barbecue memphis barbecue where is it so and that's supposed to pair really well with this zinfandel this red zinfandel um but then there was the people that were saying oh but the rosé is kind of sweet and it'll cut the barbecue flavor right and then there's people saying oh you gotta have bubbly with barbecue i was like i don't know about that so okay i am going to do i like i normally do i always kind of do the, the lighter wines first she's already whining and crying let's get into the stories about whining this week um so the, the, i always pair my my stuff i go light to dark so i'll go like the lighter wine wines first when i pair and i'm gonna 
I'm going to, like, peel the children off me right now. And I'm going to, um... How dare you? Spork some of this on a plate. And uh, cut up the rib and uh, make a mess. So, see how it tastes with this. But now, tell me about your 4th of July. How was it? What were you up to? What did you do? Well, I was alone here in North Carolina. My husband it was in California. You know, that's where we're relocating to. And I'll tell you that I was like, I had this, like romantic notion that maybe he's gonna hop on a plane and come here and surprise us for the four day weekend. And, I, and that we'll have this like great family yeah. bonding experience. And then I realized, oh, that costs money. There's no way my husband's gonna do that. <laughs> so he did not come and I, we barely talked to him. But anyway, it's like I said, for our fourth, we just kind of hung out at the beach oh. with friends and drank and played in the water and stuff like that. And it was great, it was nice. And then we also swam at the pool. Um, but then I had to keep the kids up. What did you do? To, we, don't, we didn't do fire, our fireworks didn't go off until like 9 o'clock last night. No, and sure enough, at like 8.59, it started to rain. And I'm like, if those fireworks don't go off, and I kept my kids up until 9 o'clock tonight to watch these fireworks, I'm going to lose my mind. But it, it happened. It, happened it held out. And it helped. Held out. It helped. We and um, we were able to watch the fireworks. But like, you know, I found my kids the most perfect spot to watch the fireworks. You know, we got, I kept them awake for the fireworks. Yeah, close You know, and all that. And I was like, and they could care less about the fireworks. All I cared about was the, like, dollar store poppets. You know those poppets? Remember those when you were a kid? Those little things, and you throw them on the floor and they go, Pop! right? And all they cared about was the poppets and the glow sticks. And later on, sparklers. Like, that's all they cared about. Like, they could have cared less about this huge, like, epic thousands of dollars worth of mortar and explosions that were going on around them. I think about with the dollar store puppets. But anyways, we just not. Here we go. Ready? Barbecue sauce. Awesome. Did you guys go see fireworks or did you just watch my TV? Or did you just sleep through it? We're going to stay in the not bad. Nope. Do you do pork ribs? Do you do short ribs? Do you beef ribs? Do you do beef tips? How do you do your ribs? What kind of ribs do you use? And then, do you boil them before? You see this? Uh, so there's so many different methods of how you can do this. You, there's people that like will boil their ribs first and then put them on the grill because it takes less time. And there's people that put them on the grill and baste them and like babies them all day long. And there's people that smoke them. And then there's people like me who like have an instant pot or people that do in the crock pot like I know people that like literally throw them in the crock pot and like throw a can of barbecue sauce on it and uh, four hours later they've got ribs I am a big big fan of the instant pot ribs like because literally you kind of like put a little liquid on the bottom I can't even remember but like you put a little liquid on the bottom you wrap your ribs inside of it on top of one of those racks and like with a whole bunch of barbecue sauce and in like less than an hour they're done and they're like fall off the bone Good. And if you want them to be caramelized and like chewy, you know, with that like glazy gook on it, you can throw them in the oven to like just um, get a caramelization on it. Um, that was that's kind of my gig because I just don't have the time, nor do I have the propane to do it all. I don't have a smoker or anything like that. I will tell you. No. Did you do barbecue for for your holiday? Or did you do just hamburgers or pizza or tacos? Who knows? For dips. Dips are a big deal. What's your favorite dip? We got a dip at a party that we were at this week. It was a jalapeno pepper dip. I think it was like cheese and jalapeno poppers and cream cheese and stuff. I could eat that by the bucket. I'm sure it's so bad for you. And I felt. Was nice, delightful. Did you have any horror stories about Fourth of July this year or previous years or when you were a kid? Uh huh. Well, and so we can have dehydrated, bloated, full of salt. I had to take my kids to summer camp this morning. I'm impressed that our summer camp actually had summer camp the day after Fourth of July. I live in this, you know, like beach condominium complex where now it, oh, there's a lot of renters here for the summer. So there's so many flipping people here right now. Uh, you don't even want to leave. And people that uh, live here now, like live here, there are not like renters are like, don't even leave the complex because the traffic is so bad because everybody's on this side of the island. It's gross. Do you guys go to parades? 
Did you see? Did you, did you watch fireworks? Did your communities have fireworks that you actually went to, or did you just like watch them from the roof of your house? When I was a kid, I remember on the Brothers Alive, my dad, he would take, get a ladder, and I was little. I was probably like five. Get a ladder, and we would climb on the, like, the roof of our garage. We had a detached garage. And we would watch the fireworks, and that was like my favorite. We would just sit on top of the garage, and I was so little, and he let me climb the roof to the roof. Hey, Ben. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm in this place right now where I'm like, I can't, I keep, every day I keep thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to be in California in a month. In a month, I'm going to be driving across the country in a month. And what? Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I'm faced with regularly that like I, my kids are growing up really, really freaking fast. And everyone keeps saying that, oh my gosh, slow down, don't grow up so fast, like stop oh growing, you know, stop, don't get old, don't ever get old. But like, I feel like that my kids are like really rapidly aged in the last couple of weeks. Like, I do my kids' laundry and I'm like. How much longer is he going to be wearing, like, underpants with characters on them? And I'm like, how much longer is he going to be wearing, like, pajamas? When is he going to just, like, switch over to boxer shorts and, like, sleep in a t-shirt, right? And same thing with my daughter. Like, I'm like, when is, when is like, power, like, princesses aren't going to be big anymore? Like, it just, it just freaks me out that all of a sudden that, like, these things that I kind of thought were, like, forever, like, I take for granted. Or, like, I take for granted that, like... I know that sounds so stupid, but like the other day my kid said, like, oh, do I look, oh, do I look like a confident man? He got his haircut. He goes, do I look like a confident man? I'm I like, did not. Okay. I actually said that. Confident man. Okay. He's seven. Do or, I look like a confident man, Mom? No, like, they don't want to say I love you in public. They don't want to hug you or kiss you in public. What did you just say to me? Why are they going to hate me? Mom? I get a lot of times, I don't like you anymore, but when are they going to hate me? What did you do when your kid said they hated you? Um, no one, they haven't told me that they hate me, but they told me that they don't like me anymore. And what my response is, they say, I don't like you. I say, well, I love you. And that's never going to change. I love you. All right. So, I don't think I'm going to get as sassy or saucy tonight with this because, frankly, my body hurts. And all the sun. I just felt, I'm an alcohol abuse. Okay, everybody, stand up. The burping. When does that start? So, I want to know when the burping stops. I want to know when the armpit farts stop. What did you just say what about that? That I'm a fart knocker? What are your words? Like, right now he's into fart knocker, chickens, and pickles. Hey, can I have a pickle? Or whatever, like, they think those are the funniest things that you've ever heard of in the world. They're funny words. But then there are the other words where I said, like, you cannot say this word. This word is unacceptable. And if you say this, you're going to get in trouble. You're going to have time out. You're going to have a pinch. You're going to have a spanking. You don't say these words. My kids, when they say, you're stupid or Mom, don't disgusting. you dare think about it. Exactly. Mama! You know, I keep saying to myself, like, after the 4th of July, I'm going to, like, not drink as much. <laughs> and I'm going to eat healthier again. Like, and I'm going to be more diligent about the gym. Fifth of July, and I haven't I haven't even made it to the fifth of July before I bailed on that whole. I think I was supposed to go to the gym day. I sat on my couch and tooled on Instagram. Well, I did laundry. Pretty much all day long in the rain. I went off the grid specifically so that, well, for multiple reasons. But when, you, know, you guys saw that I went off the grid for a while. One of the reasons why I went off the grid is because I was just like I wasn't wasn't present with my children. You know, I was here, but I just wasn't present because my mind was always reeling. I'm like, okay, I gotta get that next post out. I gotta get that next video out. I gotta create another graphic. I've gotta make a, a blog post and whatever. And so I wanted to be more present. So I kind of like, then I had life was attacking me. And so I was like, you know what? I, 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 I'm gonna go for grid for a while. Now I'm back on the grid and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so much catching up to you. Oh my gosh, there's all this like new technology out there that I need to learn about. Facebook stories and Instagram stories and Mommy. Facebook watch parties and Instagram TV and swiping up and 
I don't even know anymore. I don't, don't even get me started on twe tweeting because like I'm, I'm a, of all of my platforms, I feel like Twitter is the worst. Are you guys like into Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or Snap? Like what's your, what's your gig? Hey Mary, what's going on? Okay, so we are moved over to Zinfandel, the red Zinfandel with this. I kind of feel like, I don't know, I like the rosé, but the rosé seems to be really in the spotlight right now. Maybe it's just because this is a summer thing, but like I've never seen rosé take this. Rosé used to be the cheap person's drink. But now like rosé is everywhere. And then, you know, it's even like, they have like sparkling rosé. Like have you seen those like truly sparkling beers? Um, or what's it called? Like the something claw. That's another sparkling beer. Um, or Smirnoff now has a sparkling beer. Like, um, and then there's just like Bon Ami that is like a French version of a sparkling beer. And all those like fruity flavors, like pomegranate, mango, and lime, and lemon, and all those, right? Those are like the hip things this summer. Is like, what? They even have a rosé sparkling flavored beer. It's weird. So they've got, I think that's the trend this summer, is a lot of rosés, and it's a lot of these sparkling beers, right? That, that mimic like a sparkling water. My favorite, I, I really like the Truly Branton the best. I kind of try them all out. My, my favorite is the Truly Cherry. That's like drinking a soda. So good. Um, I think maybe next weekend I'm going to do like, I'll, I'll do I'll do like a product review over all of the Truly beers. Or not Truly beers, but like Truly Claw. I can't remember what it is in the Bonami or whatever. Maybe in a Smirnoff. We'll try them all and see like which one we think is the best. Do you guys, are you into beer? Like, are you guys like, did you drink? And a wine seems so counterintuitive for the 4th of July, right? Like, cause you feel that's such a beer holiday because you're like out on the beach or you're like out on the street or you're tailgating or you're at the park and you're with your koozies and you're drinking your beer in your cans, right? Do you know they actually have wine in cans now? I have a sangria in a wine. Like, who makes it? Flip Flop. Flip Flop makes a sangria, sparkling sangria in a can. Mommy. Okay, I'm trying the... Ooh, the Zinfandel with this now, okay? Yeah. Oh, Zinfandel is pretty darn good with this. I thought it was going to be too overpowering. I kind of sort of like it. So, what traditions did you guys have? with your 4th of July's. Like when you were growing up, what traditions did you do like on your 4th of July stuff? Like did you set fireworks on me? I just feel like I've been reading all these posts from my California friends. Our neighbors, they're all complaining that like these a lot of illegal fireworks, but I'm like, I feel like there's illegal fireworks everywhere, but they're talking about like mortar shells and like it's shaking their houses and scaring their dogs and their dogs are peeing everywhere or need to be on anxiety meds or in those thunder shirts or whatever because their dogs are, are like, all up in arms over these they're, 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 because they're apparently so loud. They're like shells and they're shaking houses and stuff like that. I can't imagine. Right? And it's not like it was just on the 4th of July either. It sounds like it's been going on for a couple of like a week or so. This is like a summer thing. Mm. And that, like they try to report it to police and nobody really ever does anything, but and these things get shot from like your neighbor, right? And so they're shooting these huge like mortar shells up into the sky and they're falling on your house. Or they're like, you know, and you got little baby kids and they're, are your kids noise sensitive? Like that's another thing. Like some kids are just so noise sensitive they can't do the fireworks and they go with those like headsets, those like, earmuffs or whatever, because you want to see it. You don't necessarily want to hear it. And like my daughter was terrified of it. Mommy. She was so scared. At first she was scared of it, she didn't like the sound of it. She didn't, she didn't like the sound, and so, and she didn't like the sound, and on top of that, there was thunder and lightning, she didn't like that either. Um, but like last night, she wouldn't sleep alone, she had to sleep with her brother. I had to like, I had to bribe her brother with candy so that they would sleep together. Because I didn't want her, wake, I did not wake, want to wake up in her, her, I did not want to wake up with her in my bed, at, you know, two in the morning, because she was terrified of the thunder. We said it was the angels, it was my papa, it was dad, my dad, their papa, setting off fireworks, because my dad loved fireworks. He used to put fireworks like the bottle rockets. He would like put a bottle rocket in his mouth, get out on the porch and sh and like light it and shoot it out of his mouth. We thought that was the coolest thing in the whole world. Did you finish your dinner? There's no answer there, so that's probably a no. Um, yeah. So, what are your traditions for for Fourth of July? Like I said, mine was my dad shooting fireworks out of his mouth, climbing up the roof. But like, I don't remember ever having anybody over, per se. Mommy. 
Mommy. This is kind of like one of those holidays. Mommy. It's like we don't technically have no. You don't technically have to get together with your family. It's not like Easter or Christmas or Thanksgiving or anything like that. It's one of those obligatory holidays where you don't really have to get together with your family. You get together with your friends or whatever, right? I don't know. I love Fourth of July, especially here because it's like super patriotic because, like I said, we're in a military um, community. So there's lots. I mean, like they like all the streets are lined with flags and they even put up like lights for the Fourth of July and they have like live concerts and like movies in the square, you know, and... Everybody dresses up in their Mama. red, white, and blue, and their you know stars and stripes, and like all the swimsuits on the beach are full. They're all wearing you know swimsuits that are you know you know American flag themed or U.S. themed you know stuff on their swimsuits, or they're like they have flags on cars. It's kind of really cool, but yeah. So I when I move to California, I'm gonna kind of miss that kind of presence, having that like Americana everywhere, just because we're just such a huge military presence. So if you all are tasting with me. Which has been your favorite? The Zinfando or the Rosé with the ribs? You know, and again, and this is the ribs that are like, you know, Memphis style with the, with the wet sauce. Um, I am really surprised. Like, I always like a Rosé, but I'm really surprised at how much I like the Zinfando. Like the red Zinfando. <laughs> this is not funny, folks. With the, with the with ribs. So I think you should try I'm sure it's probably... Do you really think it's going to be any different if you had it? I think it's it's all about the sauce. It's getting sauce. It's all about getting sauce. Yeah. Right? And so I think that, like, even if it was, like, a barbecue chicken, or even if it was, like, barbecue pork or some sort of barbecue beef, I don't I don't think it's it, it's meat-specific. I think it's sauce-specific. So I think that if you're going to be going for, like, you know, like a barbecue chicken? sauce thing, either one of these you can't go wrong. Mama. But I think the spicier it gets, like if you put like a spicier, because you know you can get like the honey barbecue or the spicy barbecue sauces or whatever. Um, I think it, the spicier or whatever, the tangier, I think this is, would go pair really well with the rosé. But this Zinfandel, I'm not kidding you, this Zinfandel is going really good with this. And I think this would go good with any kind of wet barbecue saucy thing. So I know it's not our traditional, you know, like let's pair some wines with some whatever leftover kid snacks we have, like, you know, gummy bears and cheese sticks and goldfish and stuff but you know we all have like a million of these like barbecue stuff left over from yesterday so grab them out of your fridge reheat them however you may want to open up a bottle of whatever and dry it i mean and, and try it with a beer try it with one of those trulies i think the trulies would be really weird that's like drinking it with like perrier that's weird but like try it with a beer i mean like a stout maybe i don't know or maybe like a hefeweizen i don't know but or and definitely try it with either there's a Mandel or a Rosé. Okay, enough for me today. I love you very much. I hope you had a really great 4th of July, and I hope you're continuing the celebration all throughout the weekend, and we can detox on Monday. On Monday, we'll talk about detox. Let me know about how you're detoxing on Monday, because I might need a few tips. Love you much. God bless America. Happy 4th of July. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Mom.